it do, collective? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Girl King. Happy new moon. Happy fantabulous Friday. Get you some. Get you some. Oh, collective, I've got surprises and treats in store for you. We got new cards. Not tarot, not oracle decks, but cards indeed. They have been cleansed, cleared, and blessed. No fear, no worries. So we're going to tap into what's going on with the family. What's going on with your family collective? Now, this family could be your work family. This family could be your so social circle. This family could be your friend group. This family could be your soul tribe. But any which way you slice it, it is a grouping or a collection of beings. So we're going to tap into what's going on with this group, with this family, this genus. Right, collective summer. All of these messages may or may not resonate with you in this current passage of moments. So please do only take the messages that resonate. If it's not what rings true for you, collective, then it's not what it do. Okay, so someone in your friend circle in your family has a bird as a pet. We've got a uh, bunny, the energizer bunny. So there's a person in your group, in your family, who is very energetic. And this bunny is not feeling so energetic right now. Somebody in your family could have also been in band in high school. They could have played the clarinet or the flute. And one of you just recently celebrated a birthday. So possibly a Gemini or a Cancer. So look what we've got here, folks. So somebody in your group either has a pet bird or they really enjoy birds. This person could like dressing up. They're very formal. This is not the type of person that really wears jeans. They always have on some type of slacks or... Um, like casual dress shorts if they're quote unquote dressing down. And then we've got this Energizer Bunny character. This person is all out of energy. They are at rest. This person is in hermit mode. So someone in your family could possibly be down in the dumps. This person may live in the forest or near the forest. This person likes pizza. So your band member, <laughs> your band member who is going through some changes right now, they're having to look at things from a different perspective. It's possible band member could be looking back at the past. I feel like in the past they went through a lot of stuff. They had a lot of troubles in childhood, but I feel them looking back at the past and realizing where they are in their life right now, they're in a much happier place. They're in a much happier space. So the environment of this person, their upbringing, their household, it was in distress. It was not a happy home. It was not a happy childhood. But again, this person has been looking back at the past and realizing that they are at a better level in life. And then we've got this Cancer, this Gemini, who possibly just celebrated a birthday. You may have attended. Some things may have heated up at the party. This may also have been a barbecue. So this also could have been July 4th. So some things got out of hand. Somebody may have grabbed a damn hammer. All while the cake was being blown out. So somebody was trying to crash this Cancer or this Gemini's party. They were trying to bust their bubble at the family function. Oh, God. Somebody here likes cookies and cream ice cream. So something had to be hammered out at this function, this party. Something had to be brought under control. 
So I don't know whether this party goer <laughs> really got into their birthday and really got out of control and maybe somebody had to put a stop to that. Maybe a family member had to come in between this Gemini or Cancer and calm them down a bit. So let's see what else is going on with these characters. What else is going on in your friend circle, your social circle, your work family? So we have drama. I'm having a heart attack, you idiot, from Vice 2018. So 2018 could be a significant year. That would be an angel number for you. This person could also be 20, be between the ages of 20 and 18. But the bird lover is going through drama right now. And this person may be going through drama because they are in ill health. And maybe this person feels like you don't understand the things that they're going through. You don't understand their pain. They're calling you an idiot. So idiots don't understand. Fools don't have a level of overstanding. They can't comprehend things. So this bird lover feels like you can't comprehend the things that are transpiring in their life right now. And maybe this person feels like their only friend in life right now is this bird or this pet that they have. Now it doesn't specifically have to be a bird, but I'm feeling like this person is very tied to their pet. And when you see this person, you see their pet, whatever pet it is. I don't feel like it's a dog or a cat. So it's on the exotic side. It may even be a snake. What else is going on, angels? So the bird watcher puts on a happy face. The bird watcher acts like everything is okay. The bird watcher acts like their health is okay. And maybe that's why you don't know this person is suffering in silence is because they put on that good old picture day smile. So you wouldn't know that this person was suffering, that they're going through tribulations and trials in their life right now. And even though this person is putting on the smile, they haven't opened up their mouth, like the parrot, to speak or say these things to you, to speak their truth, to let you know what's going on. But yet and still, this person wants to call you an idiot because you are not a mind reader and you're not picking up on the fact that this person is not in good health, be it mental or physical. So bunny rapper, <laughs> bunny rapper, <laughs> the bunny rabbit may be a rapper and maybe this person has run out of steam. They may have hit a block. They may not be able to come up with lyrics or to, if they write music, they may not be able to write music right now. So they may be having a creative block and this is why this energizer bunny may feel out of steam, out of sorts. And they feel like they're in a horror picture. It says, have you checked the children? <laughs> so this person may have children and maybe this person's children are running them down. So I feel like this Energizer Bunny, this person in your family group, your friend, soul, your friend circle, your social circle, this person's kids are driving them a bit mad. So I'm seeing the Mad Hatter. This person may like to wear hats a lot. But this person is definitely wanting to pull out their hair because their kids are driving them mad. And if this person is not with their kids, it's the fact that they are not around their children. And maybe their children are being kept from them and this is what's driving this person bonkers. 
So I'm feeling like there may be a custody battle for this Energizer Bunny. So they're fighting for their kids right now and they feel like they're in a horror film. How could this happen? This person is fighting for their kids. This person could have been born in 1979. What else is going on in interest? Comedy. So again, life is comedy. So the band player, this person who has been on memorabilia lane. This person who has been going back in memory and looking at all the troublesome times that they've been through in their life and realizing coming to the overstanding that what they went through in childhood because they went through so much, because they experienced and saw so much, it helped them reach a new and higher level in life. This person is starting to see the comedy in the drama. So I'm getting Shakespeare. This person may be a playwright. They may be a stage actor where they like plays. It says, I believe in long, slow, deep, soft, wet kisses that last three days. Bull Durham, 1988. Wow. So this person could be a Taurus. This person may even be from San Francisco or St. Louis. This person definitely does not look how they looked in high school. So there's been a drastic change. This person is hot now. <laughs> so this person, and it's not me saying it. This is this person calling themselves this. This person used to be the ugly duckling in high school. And it's like after high school, bam, damn, they got fine. And that's part of <laughs> the lighthearted energy this person is in. Because it's funny now. Because it's funny that all the shit that they went through in their past and in their life, they can laugh at it now. Because they healed from a lot of the wounds that they've suffered. A lot of the cuts that have been inflicted. This person is now able to laugh at their pain. And gosh dang it, this person is fine now. <laughs> uh, did I mention this person is single? Ready to mingle is what I heard. Hmm. All collective, I'm loving this energy. I love these cards. What else is going on, angels? So, family, look, I can't make it up. <laughs> Didn't I say this was a birthday party, a family function? I can't make it up. It says family. You don't know how hard it is being a woman looking the way I do. Who framed Roger Rabbit? 1988. That's two 1988s in a row. 1988 is going to be very significant. This person could be born in 1988. But something happened at the party. Listen, collective. Oh, my God. I told you, the cancer... The Cancer or the Gemini got out of control at the party. It says, you don't know how hard it is being a woman looking the way I do. So they were feeling themselves. It was their birthday. It was their party. It's my party and I cry if I want to. Cry if I want to. Cry if I want to. You would cry too if it happened to you. Yeah, someone tried to smash their face in the cake. Listen, someone tried to crash their party. So this Gemini or this Cancer was feeling themselves at their birthday party and they just couldn't figure out why the fuck they couldn't have it their way. They couldn't figure out why someone would want to smash their face in the cake. Why someone chose their birthday party to want to 
handle a different family situation that had nothing to do with the party. So there's a lot of things happening in this party, this 4th of July barbecue, this family function, a family reunion. But this Gemini or this Cancer was not happy. I'm hearing this person, it's me, it's my day. Me, 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 me. It's my day. Why would you want to fuck up my party? Put the hammer down. Y'all need to take that outside. You need to handle that another place, another time, another day. Not today. Hmm. So this person feels like they're being ganged up on. Second reference to the bunny, I just noticed who framed Ride the Rabbit. So there is indeed a energized bunny, a very energetic person in your family, in your circle, in your cipher. That is not so energetic right now. They are worried about their kids. What else is going on, angels? Two times with the drama? I can't. <laughs> the bird watcher. <laughs> the bird watcher, the snazzy, fancy dresser who doesn't really wear dream, jeans. I almost said dreams. This person could be having difficulty in their dreams or maybe having bad nightmares. Drama the second time. It says, I'm not a smart man, but I know what love is. Forrest Gump, 2004. So something may have occurred for this person in 2004. I feel like they may be carrying a lot of drama, a lot of baggage from something significant that happened to this person in 2004. It may have had to do with the loss of a relationship. It may have even had to do with the loss of the relationship with their pet or a former pet. Maybe they have a new pet. Maybe this is, I don't want to say a replacement pet, but maybe a pet that they got after this other pet was laid to rest. But this person is carrying a lot of pain, a lot of drama in their heart. I'm having a heart attack. So something may be resurfacing having either to do with the loss of a relationship or the loss of a pet. What else is going on, Angels? Let's get in the deck. Oh, wait. Oh, collective. We've, we've got lots of, lots of cards, lots of cards. What else is going on, Angels? The bunny's been eating a lot of pizza. <laughs> now, I know that's their favorite food, but they have not been in high spirits, and they've been eating a lot of their comfort food, which is pizza. So, it says drama, and now the real torture begins. Fifty Shades of Black, 2016. Wow. So, this person is so loud, so low, <laughs> down in the dumps, that they can't get it up. So this person is also sexually frustrated because they have been down in the dumps about this court situation, this custody battle that is going on for their kids. They can't focus on anything in their personal lives, including their sexual lives. So this person is not getting any right now and they feel like that's torture on top of torture so not only are they going through the mental and physical pangs of missing their children but they're also going through the physical pangs of not being able to have any type of release see all that pent up emotion over the missing of their children they have no way to release that emotion. 
So this person is just turned off in all types of ways. I mean, their battery has been completely shut down. I'm here like, doo, doo, doo. like it's been powered down. So this person just literally, they have no energy for anything. They feel like they're in a horror film. It's like torture on top of torture. So not only are they missing their kids, but they can't get it up. If this is a masculine, if it's a feminine, she can't orgasm. She has no sexual desire. He or she has no sexual desire. And so again, that is more pent up emotion. And when your emotions get pent up, it affects you physically. So again, this person has no energy. They are no longer the energizer bunny. And someone may be trying to frame them. So I feel like this person who's going through this custody battle for their kids, they may be being framed. So some things may be being said about this person that are untrue. This person is just really in mental turmoil. I'm really seeing a lot of hermit energy here. And this person is finding it difficult to speak about what they're going through. They're going through a dark night of the soul. Fifty Shades of Black. So not only is this person in a long-standing custody battle for their kids, causing pent-up emotions. They're not able to have any type of sexual release to release those emotions, so that's more pent-up emotions. And to top it off, this person is going through ascension. And at this current point in time, they are going through a dark night of the soul. So that's three for three, folks. And so that's why this person feels like, and now the real torture begins. Because it's like the third thing, you know, they say things come in threes. <laughs> so this is this third thing coming for this person. The custody battle, the pent up sexual frustrations, and then you've got the dark night of the soul. So no wonder this person, hello, is sitting on their stump. Stumpy's been a little stumpy lately. What else is going on here? I can't make it up. So the band member, this person who was so hot to trot. Now, you ever see those Jerry Springer episodes where it's like this person looked like this in high school and then they invite people on the show from high school and then the person comes walking out and the people from high school are like, oh my God, like I didn't even recognize you. You're so dead. This is this person. This is this person. This person who is finding the comedy in life, turning the tragedy into comedy. It says, I believe our adventure through time has taken a most serious turn. Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. And this person has indeed been on an adventure. This person's name could be Bill or Ted. That could be their favorite movie. But this is this person's view on life. They have turned tragedy into comedy. This person is able to see the lighter things in life now. This person may have even started playing the instrument they played in high school. So this person may be ready to get serious about someone. Now that they've gone through certain changes in their life, now that they've realized why they had to walk the path that they walked, why they had to live through the experiences that they had, why they had the childhood that they had, this person is now coming to the realization that I made it. And now that I made it, and now that I really truly know who I am, I'm serious 
about what I want. I'm serious about what I'm looking for, about who I'm looking for. So not only is this person healed and fine, but they're ready to get out there and they're serious about it. So this person is looking for long-term commitments. They are no longer looking for just the one-night show. Something must have recently occurred in the band member's life to put them on a path to more serious commitments. Now, whether this be in relationships, whether this be in business, but this person has really taken action to take control of their life. Oh, da da da. 10 10 on <laughs> the timer. Listen, the drama at the family function. It says the two most significant events of the 20th century, the Allies won the war and this. Steve Jobs, 2015. So this must have been the blow up of the century. I mean, this was a God day. Was everybody knocked out at the family reunion? Was it just an all out brawl? Somebody is really saying that this was a big deal. And it could be the Gemini. It could be the Cancer. That is really making a molehill or a mountain out of a molehill. This person got too turned up at the party. And I think the party may have gotten shut down. Everybody had to pack up their shit and go their separate ways. The Allies win the war and this. So, yeah, the people who were at the party that came together, that were allies at the beginning of the party, they had to pack it up and dip set. You see that dot, dot, dot? They had to dip set. <laughs> That means there was nothing left to say but this. But this Gemini or this Cancer, who's just too pretty to not have it their fucking way. This person could be a narcissist. This person could always get their way. This person could be very spoiled. And I feel like on this party day, whether it had been their birthday party or family function, gathering, barbecue. I feel like they got their feelings smashed in. They got their feelings hurt, trampled on. And this person is all in their head about it. Making mountains out of molehills. This person was the reason the party ended early. And everybody had to get their shit. All the allies had to get their shit and pack it up and go. Take it and go. We'll get a couple more cards. Oh, very interesting reading collective. So, the bird watcher, well, this person could be a bird watcher. The pet owner says, could this day get any worse? The Lego Mo Movie 2, the second part, 2019. So, remember what I was saying about this person could have gotten, not, not a replacement pet, because you, you, know, you can't replace a pet. It's like, you know, God forbid, you know someone close to you were, were to pass, you can't just replace that person. That's not how it works. But I feel like this person did get another pet. It says the Lego Movie 2, the second part. So again, this person got a second pet. Or maybe they're just really going through the pangs of maybe the passing of this pet, the losing of this relationship. 
And this person really wants to talk about how serious their mental is getting, but yet and still they are not willing, like the parrot, to open their mouth. This person is very closed mouth. And we all know closed mouths don't get fed, right? But they have all this drama going on within. And it's like they want the whole family to know. They want the whole group to know. It's like, could this shit get any worse? Well, I mean, if you're not going to talk about it and we don't know about it, well, fuck it, might. <laughs> it all depends on you. Are you going to open up your mouth and ask for help? Do you need to talk to someone? Do you need a hug? Do you need a phone call? Do you need a visit? What do you need? But nothing is going to change. You're only going to get more drama if you continue to be in your feelings and not reach out to family and ask for help about this pain, the suffering that you're going through about the loss of this pet or this relationship. Oh, listen, listen, listen. Check out the big brains on Brad. Pulp Fiction, 1994. So this person is all stuck in their head. They could have been born in 1994. They may have had kids that were born in 1994. But again, this person is stuck in their head. They are down in the dumps, stuck in mental chaos. That's two references to check. Have you checked on the children? Check out the big brains on breath. Someone needs to check on the Energizer Bunny. Please, someone check on Brad. Brad is going through a most horrific and hellish time. Worried about his kids. Sexually pent up and frustrated. And for men, um, blockages down there, you know, create actual physical ailments, blue balls. So, of course, you can't have sex. Of course, you can't be the energizer bunny if you've got blue balls. It's been said, men also have difficulty thinking when they are not able to release. Now, men who have learned how to control their bodily functions can indeed withhold and utilize their chi. A lot of sportsmen do practice that. This person may not know how to do that. They don't know how to control their sacral energy. They don't know how to utilize transmutation. like this person possibly had an overactive sex life and because they are not able to release in that way anymore it has affected all other areas of their life what else is going on and just get two more cards we'll get you out of here so the band member says, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. First man, 2018. Again, this person is fully in their power. They are on their throne. Again, this person has gone through multiple layers and stages of trials and tribulations in their life that have enabled them to rise to the level to be able to see things from a different perspective. Again, a perception change. This person has leveled all the way up. So there is no drama in their life. They turned the drama into comedy. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. So this person may even be helping others now overstand their plans and their missions in life. This person could definitely be in a spiritual practice.
I'm also getting therapists, psychologists. Hmm. Practitioner. This person is definitely helping others now that they have learned certain lessons about their own life. They are able to guide others in changing their lives. So this party, Miss Cancer or this Gemini, Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me, aren't you? Yeah, this person who is a narcissist who always wants to have things their way. Trying to use their looks for everything. Didn't have it their way at this fucking party. They blew shit. All the shambles. Everybody left. It was a shit show. That's what I have for y'all. I love you.